Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And it seems there's trouble in paradise. The marriage is over. The honeymoon was okay, but now they're fighting all the time. They want a divorce. They each want to go their own way. It's only a case of who's going to get the dog. And who am I talking about? Well, it's the Greens and the SNP. The SNP have said that they realise that the Greens are toxic and they don't want to uh, rely on them to form the next government. They want to distance themselves. A lot of senior SNP members said it's now clear it was a mistake to go in with them in the first place. And at the same time, the Greens themselves are saying they are not going to help the SNP get into power and that they are not looking to form a coalition with them from the next government onwards. They're fed up of the SNP stealing all their ideas and then failing to implement them. Anyone would think that there was an election coming up and that both parties want to blame the other for all the trials and tribulations they've gone through. Personally, I think what you have is two complete sets of morons, of crooks, of charlatans and of idiots, both of whom are blaming the other for all their own faults, neither of whom can accept reality. We know they neither of them live in anything even approaching reality. And that everyone has basically seen them for what they are. And they know they're going to get their asses handed to them at the next election. It's going to be fantastic to watch. But you have to wonder, you know, which of them is worse? You have the absolute Marxist idiots of the Greens, or you have the corrupt imbeciles of the SNP. I leave the choice, dear viewer, up to you. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.